Super Mario Sunshine. It's easily called one of the hardest and most brutally difficult Mario games that Nintendo has ever made. And, you know, for a game that involves you squirting up gogurt spills, squashing rampaging giant caterpillars, and collecting shine sprites, this game is actually pretty tough. Overall, though, I freaking love the game. But I also hate this game because it has weird as heck difficulty spikes, and the early 2000s slash 1990s programming does not help either. This classic has also had a lot of levels that said, Hey, if you can't beat it, that sucks for you! Whether you hate it, or you don't, I feel like we can all agree on something. Some of the shine sprites in this game are freaking annoying and stupidly difficult to get. So, without further ado, we're going to be talking about 10 of the hardest shine sprites to get in Super Mario Sunshine. There are a few rules for this video. No demonetization by your friend Nimmin Mountain, and in case you don't know what I'm talking about, here's what I'm talking about. No 100 coin shines, no secret level red coin shines, no lily pad ride, and no pachinko machine. They get talked about way too much in my opinion, and I feel like they drown out a lot of the other harder levels. Well, I'm not going to downplay anybody's struggles here because I also struggle with those too. Those levels are freaking hard. So, without further ado, let's begin. Red coin levels in Super Mario Sunshine are a complete toss-up. You have very chill levels where you go blue coin hunting and explore the level, then you have red coins on the water from Rico Harbor. Of all the red coin levels, this one is arguably the worst aside from another one. The goal for this mission is to get 8 red coins on the water in a 2 minute time limit. This mission is pure luck at times and you'll see why. You start off by grabbing a blooper, then surfing like a loony on hazardous waters to get these coins that are scattered around the harbor. Now, if you get hit, or you hit anything, and I mean the slightest pixel touches a beam or something, your blooper's gonna vaporize and you're gonna freaking drown and you gotta do it all again. Yikes. Now here's the thing, this level isn't that bad until after you get the eight red coins. You gotta make a life or death jump back onto the docks to get your shine sprite, but if you miss and land on another blooper, or you overshoot the dock, it's gonna be a miracle that you're gonna survive thanks to the god-awful camera. It was this shine that made me realize that I was in trouble. My advice for this level? Do not choose purple! They are speedy as hell and have terrible maneuverability. Choose the green one! It has the best maneuverability and a much more maintainable speed. Oh boy, here comes PTSD for a lot of you veteran Mario Sunshine players. Serena Beach, argued to be one of the hardest areas in Mario Sunshine, and it's kind of easy to see why. The first level, oh dear, we all, we all know what this is. This level right here gave me more game overs than I could possibly count because I did not know to not take all the coins at the beginning as a child. So you enter the level, and you are greeted by the lovely sight of electric gogurt goop everywhere. And your first instinct is to clean it. And you probably should! The actual mission doesn't start until you speak to the hotel manager, and he explains that earlier in the afternoon, an odd anomaly showed up, and it literally massacred Serena Beach with blue and yellow electric gogurt goop. Then, as if this dude has this manta on speed dial or something, he's like, Yo, bro, can you show up at this time? The dude's like, yeah, sure. He shows up and starts spreading the goop everywhere again. But while the hotel manager and guests run for cover, Mario must take on this foul beast. However, comma, this boss fight will really test you on how you utilize Flood. If you get stuck in a bounce chain for too long, you'll either be on two life points or you will die. And after you get all of them down to the smallest size, they all will come after you. And because you'll see them coming most of the time, you'll most likely get thrown into another bounce chain. Also, the icing on the cake for me is that this boss is most likely to a reference from the Stephen King horror novel, The Shining. The following is in the end of the book. 
A ghostly mantle shape floating away over the hotel. It was paper thin, like a shadow, and then broke into smaller forms before turning into smoke and drifting away. I'd say that's pretty on the spot. And just like that, we're back in Rico Harbor. This area just contains some of the levels that give me a hard time. And the next one is the secret of Rico Tower. Yeah, go figure. The levels without flood are pretty hard because you come to rely on this sentient ass backpack before Shadow Mario just goes, yoink! And now you gotta do the level without flood. Now here's the grand problem with some Super Mario Sunshine physics. On slopes, they're non-existent. You have about a 50-50 chance of laying on these for distance, and about 90% of the time, you will slide off and into the void. Ugh. In all honesty, the level isn't that bad, but the fact you don't have flood and then throw in slopes on top of that, you're in for a rough time with this level. The best way to do this is patience. I know y'all hate that word. If you so much as try to rush this level, you're screwed because of the physics. Overall, take your time and you should make it through the level all right. The Goofy Inferno is actually a pretty unique level because this is the only level that isn't a secret level that we can't use Flood in. And with that out of the way, you know you're in for a bad time with this level because there is goopy lava goop everywhere! This level is another test of pure patience and endurance that I'm decent surprised isn't talked about more. Basically, you gotta use this underground travel system theme just to get to Flood. However, the chances of dying are very high, so let's think of this another way. The other way that I got there was I used the underground travel system, went a little bit, got to the fruit tree, got to the highest point that I could, and just dove for the platform. And I actually made it quite a few times. I've actually seen people go on the palm tree as well, and just jump off a leaf onto it, and they made it. It's pretty difficult, but hey, it's better than using the travel system in my opinion. But, if you really want to be a daredevil, you can hop into the small stream and follow it to the center of the stage. You can use the residual water that sticks to Mario as a way of clearing a path to the large platforms and get flood. However, you have about a 1 in 20 chance of failing. I only managed to do that after two game overs in a row. Yeah, I'm gonna stick to my original ideas. There are three words that I hate in this game. I'm a chuckster. Higher, higher! This level is so bad, I freaking hate it. You gotta hope and pray that these damn chucksters don't toss you like a pancake going airborne out of the frying pan into the never-ending void. Getting to this part is bad enough. You gotta pick the very specific fruit that Yoshi wants, and then you gotta bring it to the damn dinosaur who's trapped in an egg. You gotta get him under the village and spray the entrance with his juice power stuff. And then, getting to the shine sprite. <laughs> Yeah, th this level is torture. I, I, don't, I don't even want to talk about it anymore. So we're moving on. There are two things I lack in this world. Brains and patience. This level tests both of those limited skills that I have with the mysterious Hotel Delfino. You gotta follow a deadly specific path to get a pineapple so you can go feed it to the Yoshi. And you gotta follow another deadly specific path, but this time with Yoshi in tow. And if you lose Yoshi before you find the path to the shine, you gotta do this whole damn thing over again. The amount of backtracking in this level is absurd, and it absolutely sucks because there are close to zero clues of what you even have to do in this level. The only clue is the Yoshi egg wanting a pineapple. And how do you get to pineapple? The game basically said, fuck you, bro, I don't know, figure it out for yourself. Damn you, Serena Beach. Sure, the level 8s in this game aren't required to beat the game, but if you're a freaky geeky 100% freak like me, you're gonna have to beat these levels. That being said, the Watermelon Festival. 
all know this level. We all hate this level. Because of how stupid fragile this fucking watermelon is! You start the level, you gotta find this big ass watermelon to give to this competition piece of shit competition judge. You find it. Woo! Purple and done! That was easy. Oh wait, shit. You gotta get it to the thing over there. Oh wait, fuck. You gotta smash every single cat quack into the freaking ground. You gotta make sure to keep this melon away from the trees. And once you do all that, you gotta roll this big ass melon down this skinny ass bridge. And if you mess up at any time, you roll this shit off the bridge and you gotta do the whole thing over again. Then, what's your reward? As if to add insult to injury, the watermelon gets grinded up. Thanks, Nintendo! Thank you! That was very much needed. I'm super shocked that I've seen almost no one talk about this level in Super Mario Sunshine, which I disagree with because this level is kind of hard. The Fluff Festival doesn't get the recognition it deserves in my opinion, so I'm gonna talk about it. Again, what's it with the festivals being difficult? The Fluff Festival Red Coin Hunt is a level that is mainly about testing your patience. Finding the red coin is their problem, it's getting to the shine sprite. Basically, you gotta use your parkour skills and parkour slash rocket up the tree, grab onto a flying football, and go on the ride of your life to get to an adjacent cloud to get your shine sprite. But, there is a reason why this level is on the list. Trying to get onto this ride from hell in the form of a fluff weed is another thing. Your best chance of getting on is just run off a leaf, jump onto this fluffy little weed, hang on for dear life, and pray to god you release at the right time. Overall, it's not the worst level out there, but it's definitely solidified its spot in the top three for me just for that weed ride. Do you like roller coasters? Do you like popping balloons? Well, good, because you'll be doing it for a bit. I've spoken about how I feel about the Mecha Bowser fight on a roller coaster from hell was rushed in my previous video. Or two videos ago. And now we're returning to that nightmare of a concept in Mario's version of Rocket Run. The level name is pretty self-explanatory. You gotta pop balloons on a roller coaster with rockets. Problem is, there's no cursor, there's not good controls, and there's a lot of balloons you have to pop in three turns. I know some people could do it in like two turns, but I definitely had a lot of trouble with this level. Overall, this level is a nightmare, but you chose to subject yourself to it for that sweet 100%. So best of luck, mates! There is a ridiculous amount of debate about this level, but I call it the horror of the difficulty spike. So you do some platforming and some acrobatic type rope walking, schmuck. Then you lose flood. Fuck. This level has so much acrobatics, so many hard jumps, and overall will really test your patience and your will to play this game. This level also makes every jump feel like a bigger deal than they actually are. You have to make your way through this level insanely carefully or else you're going into the never-ending bottomless pit thing that's below ya. Overall, the first three parts aren't too bad, but they are kind of frustrating at times. Then the slopes come in. They've made their return. And it's bad. Oh boy. Words can't describe how bad the last two parts of the level actually are. You legit have to rely on luck and hope to god that you developed enough parkour skills with Mario's funky mechanics. So, best of luck, troops. I know for a fact that I missed a lot of levels in this list won't sit well with others because of my rules. So, if you have a different opinion, be sure to let me know in the comments. And I expect your declarations of war there, don't worry. Anyway, bye! I hope you enjoyed!